uh, Ibn al-Jawzi uh, mentioned that story that somebody was living in, in, in a village or in a town and by all of a sudden the people in this town started worshipping a tree a certain tree they said that tree is God and they started to actually go and worship that tree and prostrate to the tree uh, do tawaf around it offer sacrifice to it so Man ra'a minkum, whoever sees evil, let him what? Change it. So this believer in this town decided to change that. This is shirk, this is haram, and we're going to have to do something about this. So he said the ideal way in order to uh, avoid any conflicts with the people, he decided while they are asleep at night, he's going to take an axe and go and he's going to take the tree down. Guess who met him in the way? Shaytan in a form of a man. Where are you going? I'm going to cut that tree. No, you're not. Yes, I am going. No, you're not. Yes, I am. So they got in a fist fight. That believer beat the heck out of this man. If this is good English, I don't know. When he doesn't get you this way, he comes around. He's smart. He said, can I tell you something? You're a righteous, pious man. Those people are already wicked. Uh, they are going to hell. I have a good idea for you. You go home and you don't have to work anymore. And every single day, I'm going to drop for you two dinars in the morning. So you end up staying in your house, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you don't have to go to work. Those people are already doomed. Because they are already in shirk. Why do you bother? The man, that makes sense. A learned person would not buy that, by the way. A learned person is stronger on shaitan than a thousand worshippers. Somebody who just worships, he doesn't have the knowledge, shaitan can get to him easy, can play with him. But someone who has the knowledge, he will not buy that. Because when you work, you're actually worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you're providing for your family. It's an act of worship. But he, he sold it to him. Shaitan sold it to him, he bought it. So he went back home. The first day, he found the two dinars in the morning. The second day, he found the two dinars. The third day, no money. So, why did he break his promise? Okay, tonight, I'm taking the axe, and I'm going to cut the tree. So he took his axe at night to cut the tree. Guess who met him? Shaitan. Where are you going? I'm going to cut the tree. He said, no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. So they got in a fight. Guess what? Shaitan beat the heck out of him. Shaitan beat him so bad. So the man got so puzzled. And he said, How come the first time I beat you and the second time you defeated me? He said, the first time you were fighting for Allah, the second time you were fighting for the two dinars. See that? You can defeat shaitan if you establish servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah declared this at the very beginning. He said to shaitan, Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan. My servant, those who obey me, you will have no power whatsoever over them. 